directors of A Room with a View, E.M. Forrester's Maurice. Tell me about your home life. Nothing to say, we just go on. Lucky devils. Rotten back, eh? Yes, it was. Rotten. Misery and hell. Oh, that really hurt. Oh, ow! Oh, 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 no, no, oh, no. <laughs> Newspapers calls it a masterpiece, the greatest movie of the year. I risk everything and gladly because the one thing I'd dread losing is you. There are other ways to be happy, you know. Cosmopolitan says Maurice is not to be missed, a magnificent high. You've never guessed. an unspeakable the Oscar Wilde sort rubbish People magazine says it's a marvel of a movie I can assure you Mr. Scudder was booked for a passage I have a private notion he's in love he sacrificed his career for my sake without a guarantee and the New York Daily News awards Maurice four stars and calls it wonderfully intelligent and graceful. Maurice from Cinecom Pictures. by bandits and turn it into the biggest fantastical conspiracy in history. I know nothing of these men. You're a liar! Oops, sir. <laughs> if I tell you anything, then you kill me. Who will kill you? What are you talking about, Hussein? We are tugs, sir. Tugs. Deceive us. What are you doing? You don't have to prove yourself. I have told you all the secrets of the deceivers. It is forbidden. Murder. Murder, Hussein. I'm Hussein. I will not hurt you. Then he's alive. He's alive. He's a great danger. You are hers, and she is yours. And I'm yours. And you are mine. You are mine. 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 You are an excellent deceiver. Perhaps the best deceiver of all. The Light Horseman. They were Australians who knew no fear. They were soldiers who became legends. What do you know? Fresh out of bloody school. What the hell do you know about war? He's supposed to be a soldier. He's got to be able to kill a man. If he can't, too bloody bad. I keep telling myself it's just because they didn't seem any need. They didn't want to shoot a man in the back. Z-Day is the 31st of October. 
Their story is true. If they capture Beersheba, they will win a broken, burning ruin. Dodge! The war didn't end at Gallipoli. There was one more battle, a battle that couldn't be won. But the odds meant nothing to the light horsemen. The light horsemen. Bad cat. Getting this place for peanuts. Right. Yeah, they burn it down. Yeah. That's what we're going to do, Terry. What? You with me or not? So what you do? You're not sex criminals, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wish my husband would have done something like what you boys did. I know we're in trouble, but, uh... It's not your fault. It's, it's not anybody's fault. It's just the way things go sometimes. I don't want to hear know? about it, Terry. It's my responsibility. I'll worry about it. All right, get your hands up, officer. Hands up. Get your hands up. 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 OK, take his gun. What? Take his gun. All right. Damn it! What do you think this is, man? You think this is a game? Why don't you come back with me tonight, Terry? Let's get you out of this. I bet I can sell an interview. Yeah, some newspaper. There's, you boys are bigger news around here than the damn weather. I don't have to make no excuses to you. People built this country. That's probably true, Frank. That was a long time ago, and the country that they built just doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> this next round is on me! Yeah. We're gonna drink it till we fall out! <laughs> don't you know how hard this makes it? For what? Get in the way! Having a future! There is no future! Richard Gere, Kevin Anderson, Miles from home, from Cinecom Pictures. I've got on a this is Sammy. My wife. It's funny, Anna. The more Rosie hears about you, the more she's knocked out by you. And this is Rosie. Sammy, freedom plus commitment. Those were our words. They were to be the two pillars of our life and love together. From the makers of My Beautiful Laundrette, Sammy and Rosie get laid. Talking about my girl. Anna, cut it out. This is my father. Oh. Pleased to meet you, sir. Welcome to England. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you. Oh, mm. I'll give you a ring. Let's get the hell out of here. When you're in the government over there, people, opposition people sometimes, were murdered and tortured, weren't they? It is necessary at times. Everyone will admit that. And Rosie suggested the other night that we have a little party for you, Dad. Yes. Just a few friends. We can't let a bit of torture get in the way of a party. But who will we invite? We just have to round up the usual social deviants, communists, lesbians, blacks, and the sprinkling of the mentally subnorms. Day after day, those kids burn down their own streets. It's hard on tourists like me. How's married life? Good? Bad? Married life? It's a scream. <laughs> How can things become so strange between a common couple? While London burns, Sammy and Rosie get laid. From Cinecom Pictures.
years in the making. A cast of one. Shot on location in a garage. A man, a desk, a chair, a glass of water. Swimming to Cambodia. Don't miss it. The experience you have may be your own. From Zinecom, Spalding Gray's Swimming to Cambodia, a Jonathan Demi picture. It were in 19 and 20 in the southwest field and things is tough. The miners is trying to bring the union to West Virginia and the coal operators and their gun thugs is set on keeping them out. Them was hard people, your coal miners then. They wasn't nobody who wanted to cross. So push come to shove and pretty soon we had us a war down there in Mingo County which in them days was known as Bloody Mingo. And that's where it all come to a head, there on Tug Fork, in the town of Matewan. presentation.